Today is April 28, uh, 2021. Temperature outside today is 74 degrees. Obviously it's sunny. Um, we're doing the second inspection on this particular swarm hive that arrived uh, March 24th. And uh, we're going to take a look and see the progress. Um, we weren't able to do so beforehand because of the uh, cold weather that approached and uh, a lot of rain too. As you can see the girls are busy. Um, they're buzzing around but they don't care about me either. They're going to work. So, but let's, uh, let's try and make this as quick as we can. Um, I've got some extra boxes that we may put on, um, depending on the status inside the hive. So, we'll get started. Okay, I've got the top off. It looks like the camera shut down on me. I could have a low battery. It doesn't say that, but I'm looking. I'm in the sun, so I can't see the screen very well. I think my battery's toast. Um, it looks like we've got bees on seven of the frames. I'll continue to monitor this camera. I'm going to take the second frame out. See where we're at? It's got a little bit of wax on it, but not a lot. Matter of fact, it hasn't got any. I thought I saw a little bit, but I didn't. I do see a hive beetle, though. I'm going to dispatch him right now. Girl off with there. All right, that's frame over. Okay, we do have comb on the next frame. This frame, they're just beginning to put a little bit on there, and they're not putting it in the right spot. Shake these girls off. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one has got some some decent comb on it and a lot of bees. Now that big chunk of comb on the front. I'm going to take that off now before they start laying eggs in it. I don't see any. But that is not where we want the comb to be built. So we'll just take this off. Sorry girls. Gotta go. It's got some honey in it, so... That ought to be kind of messy. Whoops. Alright. Ooh, I gotta be careful. I could drop that comb. Got a lot of girls on this side. A lot of pollen. You can see the colors inside the the cells. They're storing pollen in this particular frame. I don't see any eggs or larvae yet. Again, I have to be careful. I don't break this comb off because it's not supported. Okay, it's all pollen. And what little bit of honey they had on it, I broke off, so. Hmm. 
we're getting a bigger population, that's for sure. It's exploding. Alright, here's a, a frame of brood. All of this is cat brood. These are cells that are filled up with babies. Nice. Again, I gotta support this because it otherwise it'll fall out. It isn't glued in. You know, once they build it all the way across, it'll be fine. That's pretty heavy now. So they're still working on it. This one's a little farther along. And <coughs> more brood. So we're going to have some babies coming out of here in a hurry. We got some honey, a little bit of nectar. I'm thinking okay, those are just clean, clean, empty cells. We've got some larva right here. A little white larva down inside the cell. They're not quite ready to be capped yet. So the bees will cap those after six days and then they go through the metamorphosis. Then 21 days later they become a worker bee. Female. Okay. I broke. Oh man, I just broke a whole bunch of comb, but that's what we're doing this for. Trying to keep them from cross combing. Oh man, that's a lot of cross comb. See if I can fix it. I'll pick it up. <clears throat> Not that I want to, but man, this thing's heavy. You can tell this thing is fat from side to side. That probably weighs about six pounds already. I'm gonna move the camera up just a little. <clears throat> this has got a double comb on it which is not what I wanted but on the top the white stuff is the is the honey that they use to feed the babies this is all larva so we're gonna have an explosion of bees soon <clears throat> we'll get them back down in there the queen is laying really good This frame is going to be, I'm going to have to trim this one and the next one over too. Wow. <clears throat> They've really done a terrible job. Or I have one or the other. But I'm going to scrape this big chunk here off. It has no babies in it. Here's the hope. I don't see any. More brood. But I've got to stop this extra combing going on. You can see this one stuck out over here. I've got to break it off. It went down to the bottom. Alright. Going back in with this. I've got to figure a way to get to that piece. So I'm going to move these all over towards me. Oh, here's a baby. Larva fell out. Sad. That's a bee that isn't going to make it. So there is a lot to be said about foundation. 
on, on hives because it does prevent a lot of this double cross combing. I'm going to set this out here and hopefully not drop it. There we go. Get this piece of comb out of here. I might have to eat a piece of that. Okay. Got another chunk attached to the next frame over. Okay, this one is a frame of foundation, so you can see they're working on it, but they're not building wax on it yet. I've actually waxed these with melted beeswax, which should attract them to it. Well, I've got to fix these combs so they're not doubling across. Well, this is the brood chamber. It's not unlike them to. Let's see, I think this one was next. Maybe it wasn't. I think. I'll keep track of where I'm at here. Yeah, I think it was over there. Come back this way. And then this goes down in here. Uh oh. Oh man. That's a disaster. I'm going to have to fix that. I just had a whole section of, front of honeycomb fall. Need to get it out of there. Wow, that's sad. I'm going to try and attach it to a frame. Sorry, girls. <clears throat> They're not happy with me right now. I've got an empty frame I can put that on. But I need to get some rubber bands. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a couple rubber bands. I'm trying to do a repair, if I can, to get this comb up in a frame so that we can salvage the babies. Okay, I'm going to set it down in here just like this. I put rubber bands around it and they'll chew the rubber bands off. But hopefully they'll build this comb back up. That's sad. Okay, but again, I'm not using foundation, so these are the kinds of problems you run into sometimes. So we're going to not put on another box right now. I'm 
got one ready to go, but it's not going to be a good idea to do that right now. They're not populated quite enough, and I've caused a lot of damage that they'll have to repair, <coughs> sadly. But we got everything back in order, so we killed some young. Maybe they can build cells and move the babies around. I don't know. Hopefully they can. I put this one in the center, so, and I put the comb in the center, so hopefully they'll start building center-wise, and they'll come in and take care of these babies. That's the ones that were broken open when the wax broke. So, inspection's done. I'm not going to go any farther. These girls have had enough trauma for today. Sadly, and they've, they've calmed down. They haven't, uh, they haven't come out to totally kill me. So we'll put, uh, I've got some extra wax I'm going to throw in my little wax bucket. I'll carry one out. I'm going to see if I can smoke the girls down just a little bit. Locate my smoker. A couple puffs, and usually they'll go down and start eating honey. So I don't smash any. Okay. I did see the one hive beetle. I'm not concerned about one. Hopefully the girls are going down in. I'm going to let them travel a little bit before I put the lid back on so I don't squash anybody. They won't get squashed here, but I've got some on the lid that will need to fly before they can go in. This one's fanning. She got her butt in the air and flapping her wings. That one too. They're pushing out the scent of the hive so that any bees coming in or see that opening. Okay, the few that are on here can get out of the way when I put this down. Well, that was kind of a tragic session. I hate it. But sometimes that kind of stuff happens where you do more damage than you do good. And that's the case today. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. Go ahead and let the girls calm down. The inspection was okay. Um, probably another week or two before I can get back in there. Um, maybe two weeks because I don't want to I hate to see that cone get all cross combed like it was but I don't think I'm gonna have any choice without putting in foundations so I'll go ahead and close it down please like and subscribe thank you